Hi, I'm Jared with Fun Science Demos. In a previous video, we walked you through how to make different sizes and shapes of aluminum foil boats. And a big part of science is collecting and gathering data, and that's what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to be making two different size boats and gathering data to see which boat can hold the most weight. Now, the nice thing about our design of aluminum foil boats is that we can use a ruler to precisely measure the exact size of the bottom of the boat. Now, we've zoomed in so you can see us mark out our measurements for the bottom of our boat. We're going to make this one 10 centimeters wide by 12 centimeters long. That's my 10 centimeters, and now I'm going to mark out my 12 centimeters. Just put a, if I press too hard, I might tear the aluminum foil, so I need to be careful. Now I know that this rectangle has an area of 120 square centimeters. That's going to be important when we want to make a boat that's smaller than this one. So now let's trace out the other side of our ruler. And then we can cut out our boat, fold it, and bring our boat to life. So we just finished making this rectangular boat with the dimensions of 10 centimeters by 12 centimeters for a total area of 120 square centimeters. Now I need to make a boat that's half the area. I wanted to have 60 square centimeters. So I think my dimensions are going to be 10 by six. So let's mark it out. There's 10 centimeters. There's six centimeters. So now this has an area of 10 centimeters by 6 centimeters for a total of 60 square centimeters. So both of our boats are ready to go. We have our 100, 120 square centimeter boat and our 60 square centimeter boat. And you can see the 60 is half the area of my other one. Now we're ready to test them out, float these things in water and see how many paper clips each boat can hold. Now it's time to gather some data, and to do that, we're going to see how many paper clips each boat can hold before it sinks. Here we go. Let's start with the smaller boat, the 60 square centimeter boat. We're going to float it, get our paper clips ready. Now, you do want to spread the paper clips out as you drop them into the boat, and you want to place them in the boat, not drop them into the boat. So here we go. Let's keep track. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eighty one, eighty two. Our boat with an area of sixty square centimeters held eighty two paper clips. Now it's time to test our bigger boat with 120 square centimeters and see how many paper clips it'll hold. Now this is a great time to make a prediction. How many paper clips do you think the larger boat will hold? If it's twice the area of the other one, will it hold twice as many paper clips? Well, there's only one way to find out. We need to add the paper clips. So here we go.
So that larger boat just sunk with 170 paper clips. That's just over twice the amount of paper clips that the other boat had. From this simple data collection, it seems like the area of the bottom of the boat is a huge factor in how much weight that boat can hold. And it can help us make predictions as to how much weight a boat can hold. You could even try making a different shape boat with the same area and see if it holds the same amount of paper clips. Now, if we wanted to take it a step further and even be more precise, we could use a digital scale to weigh a single paper clip so we could get an exact measurement of how much weight each boat held. There we go. It looks like each paper clip comes out to just under a gram. The data we collected helped us to compare each boat and figure out which one held the most weight. And scientists do that all the time. They collect and gather data and analyze that data to figure out how to make something better. We have other videos that walk you through how to make your own aluminum foil boat right up here. So grab a piece of aluminum foil and get busy doing some science. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.